And a great matchup to start this week as well. It's the first game on the docket, and it's an American League East divisional duel between the two best teams in this division at this moment, the Yankees and the Orioles. New York, 19-10, and 10, second best record in the American League to begin this year. Baltimore, 17 and 10 inside Camden Yards we go on a warm start to this week along the northeast and that eastern seaboard minus 116 Baltimore a slight home favorite total tonight inside Camden is nine a great showdown DRS to start this week who do you give the advantage to Let's get some runs tonight, but also let's take a look at the pitching matchups and break these down. Clark Schmidt, right-handed pitcher, is going to be on the mound for the Yankees. If we're taking a look at his season overall, 108 batters that he's faced. He's elevated a little bit. ISO power number, rated right on average at 168, but that weighted on base percentage of 358. However, if we break that down between lefty and righty batters, Clark Schmidt, again, is a right-handed pitcher to lefties. He's been good this year, Ben. A 119 ISO power number and weighted on base percentage of 303, which is a big-time improvement from last year's weighted on base percentage at 381 to lefties. However, he's been struggling with right-handed batters this season. A 208 ISO power number coupled with a 403 weighted on base percentage. It's a shame, too, because you look at this lineup, and the Orioles have been doing damage against lefty and righty pitchers alike. But against right-handed pitchers, of their nine eligible batters that we anticipate tonight, six of those, or excuse me, three of those, Adley Rushman, Ryan Mountcastle, and Rowan Urias are the only three guys that don't have above ISO power numbers. Should I say plus ISO power numbers? But also, breaking it down there, we just talked about the left-handed batters. Henderson, O'Hearn, Santander, Mullins, and Kowser are lighting up right-handed pitchers. But I already told you that Clark Schmidt has actually been very good against left-handed batters. So the focus of your lineup tonight should be from that right-hand spot. And you're taking a look at maybe in the middle of that lineup, you'd say to yourself, Westberg just could be the best of it here at a 288 ISO power number and a 414 weighted on base percentage. But if you're just looking from a batter perspective against a non-dominant pitcher like Schmidt, we should have a pretty good night at the plate here for Baltimore. Now let's flip it over to the Yankees going up against Grayson Rodriguez, who on the season this year, Ben, 65 batters he's faced from the right-hand side. Keep in mind, he's a right-handed pitcher. He's gotten crushed. A 271 ISO power number and a weighted on base percentage of 406. So immediately, you should be looking at right-handed batters tonight for the New York Yankees, which include Aaron Judge and a 212 ISO power number against right-handed pitching this year. Take a look at Giancarlo Stan, a 370 ISO power number here. Those are the guys I'm looking for, but also for them. Six out of the nine batters, plus with ISO power numbers against right-handed pitching. So if you're just removing the pitching out of the equation, say, how do these batters do against right-handed pitching? They do extremely well. And also, 82 degrees yeah. at first pitch tonight with seven on our wins blowing out the left field here at Yankee Stadium. We should get some runs tonight. But if we're focused, I just told you, you should be focused on two batters here, two batters there. RBI props should be profitable tonight right. for you. Just to confirm, Camden Yards is the site of today's oh, game. My bad. Just so we have Blown that it. in yeah, Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. But all good. I mean, same thought, right? It's warm here in the Northeast. It's yep. warm in Baltimore. I think you shared in the commercial break yep. 82 degrees tonight in yep. Baltimore. So that's going to be a ripe offensive affair between these two sides. And, Donnie, as we forecast the rest of this year, mm -hmm. we're pretty much coming up on that one month part of this major league baseball season opening day for everybody was thursday march 28th it is now monday april 29th that's pretty much a full calendar month where things stand we'll get into may later this week again early april hard to diagnose and truly get a picture of what we are going to see this year in the bigs as you get deeper into may though which is coming up on the horizon later this week that picture becomes a little bit more clear and now we look at where the Yankees and the O's are, the two te best teams in the American League from the odds perspective entering this year, and they lived up to the billing. The Baltimore Orioles last year, more than 100 wins after having more than 100 losses just two years prior. They made it to the postseason as the number one seed in the American League. They fell short in the playoffs, but they are matching expectations so far in the Yankees, who always have that expectation, also coming through in this opening month of the 2024 MLB season. Yeah, love both of these teams. If we're taking a look at the AL East odds, though. The Yankees are a minus 130 price. You take a look at Baltimore, plus 175. Yeah. They're neck and neck right now. Like the starting pitching staff, like the bullpens, and also love each one of these lineups. So if we're just being 
honest with ourselves at roughly May, I'll just take the plus 175 price right now with the Baltimore Orioles because yeah. I look at them being neck to neck. I'll just take the price point right now. I like both of these teams and also, as we pointed out, 82 degrees today. As the weather starts to heat yeah. up, the batters actually get better, and they're starting to turn that corner already. I like what I see. So that nine number probably should be in peril tonight. Why? Because I expect some home runs at Camden Yards, no doubt. And that's the very interesting thing as well with the Astros sliding back now, just 9-19 and this year. It's the matchup of the two best teams from the odds perspective to win the AL pennant. The Yanks, the favorites at plus 290. The O's just over $2 behind at 5-1. to one. We go to another American League East team, but in action today against a team from the AL Central, the Blue Jays hosting the Royals. Toronto minus 154, home money favorite, total at 8.5 up in the six. Yeah, you take a look at Jonathan Bolin here. We're not too sure what we're actually going to get out of him here. So uh, you sort of pass on it. But again, it's a dome. Even though it's 52 degrees in Toronto, it's not going to matter, right? Because it's going to be closed, and that's a smaller ballpark. So I do expect some runs. But if you're looking for RBI prop shots, you got to look at the Kansas City Royals tonight. Yario Rodriguez, the right-handed pitcher, is going to be on the mound today for the Toronto Blue Jays. If you take a look at his season this year, it's only 52 batters that he's faced. But if we're focused on right-handed batters against him, keep in mind, once again, he's a right-handed pitcher. 241 ISO, 360. Weighted on base percentage. Right in the middle of that line, if you can't go wrong, and on a night to night basis, you're seeing these guys perform. It's Bobby Witt there, 250 ISO power number with a weighted on base percentage of 409 this season against right handed pitching. That's through 104 batters now, so we're getting a pretty good backlog here. You take a look in the four hole tonight, Salvador Perez, 85 at bats he's had against right handed pitching, Ben, a 278 ISO and a 430. Two weighted on base percentage. So forget the side, forget the total tonight. I'm looking at Bobby Witt and Salvador Perez as legitimate RBI options in that lineup for the Royals tonight. Quickly here, DRS, a month into this Major League Baseball mm-hmm. season, how's your sample size for your RBI props so far in terms of gaining it's that good. information yeah, you need to have better bets? Good? Yeah, the, the batters are there right now, and the weather's starting to come around. So you can make those general guesses at this point. We're probably about two to three weeks yeah. away from having all factors here. But in the month of May, that's we start up. And it might as well start this week since we're getting hotter temperatures yeah. here. We're not worried about 40 degrees anymore. We're ready to go. We'll go through the rest of the MLB slate up next here on the early line. 12 games on this Major League Baseball slate on a Monday. 24 of the 30 clubs around the bigs in action. So let's go now to Milwaukee. The Brewers hosting the Tampa Bay Rays. Milwaukee, a very slight favorite, minus 116 on the money line, but minus 102 on the other side for the Rays. Total today out in the Midwest is eight and a half. What do you expect to happen today between the Brewers and the Rays? It's going to be an interesting one. That eight and a half should come into play in this one. I like the lineup for the Milwaukee Brewers that are doing a very good job against left-handed, excuse me, right-handed pitching this year because they have the ability to stack a couple of really good lefties in that lineup. And when we talk about really good lefties here, you know, you're leaving out Christian Yelich who hasn't been in this lineup, but it's still being able to perform. Yeah. You look tonight, one, two, three, four, five, six players at a 163 ISO or higher against right-handed pitching this season. And also you take a look at Ryan Pepio. It's been decent against right-handed batters. A little bit shaky here against righties as he's right around that average number. But let's also focus on Tampa Bay. Not known exactly for having great offenses. However, you take a look at Bryce Wilson on the mound today, the right-handed pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers. Take a look at this. Last year, 124 batters he's faced from the left side. 220 ISO, 340 weighted on base percentage. Excuse me, elevated and elevated. Take a look at this season. 25 batters, which isn't a great sample size from the left-hand side. 500 ISO, 471 weighted on base percentage. Here's the issue that you have. In this lineup today, we're only looking at roughly two left-handed batters. Richie Palacios in the third hole, 196 ISO, and a 405 weighted on base percentage against right-handed pitching. That's the best of it here for your RBI. So if we're trying to say which team should be in line for a better plate appearance, it's probably going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. I'll lean towards the Brewers in this one, but maybe my favorite RBI in this game would be Palacios of Tampa Bay sitting in that three-hole tonight going against a pitcher that really struggles against left-handed batters. Feels like the RBI props are coming hot and heavy on this Monday. Absolutely love that for some profits. Now we go out to the desert. Could we see a lot of RBI props come to fruition with a total at 10 out in Phoenix between the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers? National League West rivalry, a rematch from last year's playoff run, of course, that ended with Arizona reaching all the way to a World Series appearance and the pennant winners. But the D-backs this year, three games below 500. The Dodgers, the only team in the NL West with a winning record at this moment, expected to add on slight road favorite today. 10 is the total. Runs expected out in 
Desert. Could be sneaky here for the Arizona Diamondbacks at the plate. The reason why I bring that up is if we're looking at weighted on base percentage out of the nine batters tonight, only two of those, which is Gabriel Moreno at a 289 and Kevin Newman at a 263, have that low weighted on base percentage. Everybody else is at least a 325 or higher, which bodes well. But Paxton hasn't been all that bad. 89 batters he's faced, man, a 111 ISO and a 318 weighted on base percentage. So you say to yourself, he should be able to keep these bats down. Now, we take a look at that Dodgers lineup. Which on a night-to-night basis always looks absolutely fantastic. Now, if we're trying to focus in here on Tommy Henry, he's a bad pitcher. 114 batters he's faced this year, Ben. A 235 ISO and a 384 weighted on base percentage combined. He's one of those pitchers that gives it up from the left side and also the right side. But if we're factoring in here left-handed pitching against the Dodgers this year, there's only a couple guys in that lineup today that should be able to do damage. Mookie Betts, 46 at-bats against lefties. He's got a 244 ISO and a 449 weighted on base percentage. That's a guy that should be on your list. Will Smith in the four-hole today. 85 yeah. ISO power, number 507, weighted on base percentage. And then Teoscar Hernandez, 294 ISO, coupled with a 363 weighted on base percentage. Now, you're missing out on a couple guys, which Tommy Henry's a lefty and still gets bashed by left-handed hitters. You look at Shohei Otani and Freddie Freeman in the middle of that lineup. They haven't been that good against lefties, Ben. A 133 ISO for Otani and an 024 for Freddie Freeman. So your RBI shots are going to come from Mookie Betts, Will Smith, and Tasker Hernandez for those Los Angeles Dodgers tonight. Now we go up to the Pacific Northwest. The Mariners hosting the Atlanta Braves. Of course, the Braves, the best record in MLB to start this year, 19-7. and And as will often be the case for all 162, even on the road, the Braves, the favorites, minus 154 tonight. Who did win their weekend set as well. What happens tonight up in Seattle? Yeah, usually you usually say to yourself, I'll keep it quick, is that, oh, my God, the Braves are playing here against a pitcher that's maybe average. They should do some damage. On paper, they probably should. But Bryce Miller hasn't been that bad here, Ben. An ISO of 180, which is slightly elevated. But how about a weighted on base percentage of 269 through 111 batters? We've seen the Braves be able to win some of these lower scoring games. Even though the lineup checks out very well against right-handed pitchers, I think Miller is a decent look. And also keep in mind, not playing down in the Big A. You're playing in the Pacific Northwest in a ballpark that's notorious for being a pitcher's right. ballpark. If we're flipping it around, to the other side at the Atlanta Braves pitcher, Max Fried. He's actually had a pretty good season. He's been dominant against right-handed batters, but bad against lefties. In the lineup tonight, you might not even get a left-handed bat. So advantage for me, Atlanta Braves tonight. As we go elsewhere around MLB, we'll have some thoughts with Tom Vecchio, maybe some plays a little bit later on. Like in Anaheim, the Phillies hope to keep their role going. They're on a four-game win. 